Alright guys, Pterodactyl here and today I'm going to go through my rankings of the weapons in Hell Not Loose to date. So this is pre-update 10 before the Soviet weapons come in. I will give you my thoughts at the end of this ranking of where I think the announced Soviet weapons will actually sort of be in this tier list I've got here. So first off let's start with the BAR. And for me the BAR is an A-class weapon. It's weaker than the SCG in my opinion. It's got a one shot kill of up to about 100 meters. It's got 20 rounds in the mag which yeah is a bit bad but the devastation this weapon can cause is insane. You know if you get a squad at you know 100 meters or less you can wipe them out easily. Even if you just do single tap fire or just full auto if you can control that recoil then yeah you can wipe out squads so easily with the BAR and with the bipod that be coming to the BAR soon it could make that weapon even better you know for the machine gun and roll I don't think it's going to get any increased like ammo count in the magazine but if you get to a good stable position and then open fire on an unsuspecting squad it's going to be insane Next up is the G43 and for me this is currently the best rifle in the game period. It can one shot kill people up to 200 meters. It's got more ammo than the M1 Garand and in my opinion it's got a better sight than the M1 Garand as well. You know M1 Garand everyone says it's the best weapon in the game but no for me it's the G43 because of those reasons. The M1 Garand is you know still incredibly great you know it's still a damn good weapon but for me because of the sights and the bullets in the magazine the G43 nudges the M1 Grand off the top weapon in the game. Next up is the Car 98 sniper rifle and for me this is an S tier weapon yeah in close range it's terrible you can't hit someone zoomed in with an 8x scope in close range you know it's going to be incredibly difficult but at that increased range you know you can one shot people up to any distance as long as you can see them you can one shot kill them and if you get a good position again you can take out a squad without them even knowing where you are the k98 sniper is much better in my opinion than the american sniper because of that scope the k98 sniper I love using it. It is one of my favorite weapons to use in the game. It's just difficult to get a sniper roll in Hell Let Loose. I don't think they should increase the amount of sniper squads in the game. Keep it to two, but K98 sniper, amazing weapon. Next up is the Browning machine gun. For me, this is a B tier. It's still a really great weapon. Um, the reason why it's a B tier is, you know, in close range, you can brace it and you know, do a controlled hip fire, but it's still really inaccurate. You can get lucky and you know tear people to shreds at hip firing, but it's just so inconsistent. Sometimes you can feel like a god, like your uh, Terminator from Terminator 2 with a minigun just mowing people down. But other times it's you can't hit a barn, you know. So for me, it's a B tier. And um, when you've got it set up with the bipod deployed. You know, it's great at suppressing people, it's great at taking people out, and for me, I actually like the sound of the Browning more than the MG42. You know, the MG42 has more of like an iconic sound, but I like the the deep, you know, thumpy sound of the Browning machine gun just a lot more. I think it's, for me, it's more like threatening, you know, I just like that weapon more. Next, the M1 Carbine, and for me, this would have been an S class you know back before update 9 I think they changed it because it used to operate pretty much the same as the M1 Garand it was a one shot kill um, and you know it has the same I think it has the same bullets as the G43 you know with the bullets it can carry um, the sights aren't too great with it they're similar to the M1 but they've nerfed it and I think it did need a nerf and now instead of being a one hit kill at range it's now two shots so whenever you come up against any other rifle in the game you can lose that fight just because they're much more powerful 
And when you're playing as, say, like the medic class for the Americans, you get the M1 carbine. You know, it was a one-hit kill, and it was kind of alright because, you know, the medic doesn't have a lot of ammo. But now it's gone to two-hit kill, you know, the, <laughs> the medic suffers a hell of a lot more because of that. I really think they should give the medics, you know, Germans, Americans, and I'm going to just put the Soviets in here, an extra, you know, round magazine or clip. That's what I think they should do. And next is the MG42. I'm putting this in a B class with the Browning and the MG34 will go here as well. The MG42, you know, it is pretty much operates the same way as the Browning, but it does have an increased rate of fire. It has the same issues that the Browning does. When you're bracing it up close, it can be absolutely amazing one minute and absolutely terrible the next minute. And again, once you've got it deployed, it can tear through squads, suppress them so easily. I do think the MG42s should be in pretty much every squad for the Germans to make up for the K98 weakness. But yeah, it's a B tier for me, this one. Next is the normal K98. And for me, this is a D tier. It probably doesn't deserve to go as a D tier. I mean, it's a one hit kill up to 200 meters. But because it can only hold five bullets at a time, and because you know you have to recycle each round in, it's so much weaker when compared to the G43 and the M1 Garand. If you are incredible at aiming, then up close it's not really going to be an issue. You're going to be able to, you know, snap those shots quickly. But if you see more than one person, you're pretty much screwed because you got to shoot, get another round in. And by the time you've probably done that, you're dead from the other guy. So it's a D tier for me. But for me, this is actually one of the most satisfying weapons to use. Because of its weaknesses, when you can get on a good streak with it, it just feels so much better than using some of the other weapons. The devs really shouldn't do anything to this weapon to try and make it better. It's, in my opinion, working the way it should. It's just, you know unfortunate that the other sides have got great weapons you know like the m1 garand but don't shy away from using the car 98 i think if you're new to hell let loose um you should really use the car 98 it's gonna teach you in a harsh way to you know maybe conserve your shots improve your accuracy get used to bullet drop and bullet travel because you know if you miss that one shot on someone they could then just turn around and kill you so don't shy away from using the car 98 despite the ranking i've given it now the Springfield Sniper Rifle, and for me, this is an A tier, because it's just not as good as the Car 98 Sniper at all. It's got a much weaker scope, I think it's a, it's either a 2x or a 3.25x from the bit of research I've done. So because of that, as a long range weapon, yeah, it's just much weaker compared to the Car 98 because of the much more powered scope on it. Plus, for me, it seems like the scope sways a lot more in the Springfield, and it seems like the scope jitterbug is still on the Springfield. Even if they fix that, it would still be an A tier for me because of the weaker scope. When I play as an American sniper, I almost try to play it like a designated marksman. If you think of, um, I think it's Private Jackson from Save It Private Ryan, he's working with like an infantry squad. I try to closely support other infantry squads because, you know, I can get in the middle of the action and my scope isn't going to put me at a disadvantage when I'm fighting at close to medium range because it's not got such a big magnification. So it's still a damn good weapon, but the snipers, the Car 98, it's just better. Now we have the Thompson, and I put the Thompson as a B tier. SMGs, everyone pretty much shits on SMGs, but I love using them. You run around corners, hip firing, you can easily take people out. I think it's two shots at close range, and it goes up to, I think, three or four shots at much further distances. But the potential the SMGs have, if you have someone in this game that is a god with the SMGs, then that will be an S tier for that person. If someone can control the recoil so well of an SMG, you know, imagine them hosing down people at long range, just getting a spray of headshots. That's the potential that an SMG can do. 
because it's a one shot kill or a headshot at any range. So if you want to be a god in this game, just try practicing with an SMG. You know, try and get some of like Shroud's genetics or something in you. <laughs> so you can just headshot people, headshot squads at range. I have had some lucky moments with some sprays of this, getting some, you know, like a couple of headshots at range against a squad. So it is possible, it's just going to take a lot of practice. So for me, the Thompson is a B tier, but has a potential to be an A or an S tier weapon. The M1 Grand is an S tier, you know. By many, it's, it's considered to be the best weapon in the game, but I think the G43 just nudges it out of that top spot because of the sights and the magazine. Simple as that, you know, the M1, along with the G43, they're really versatile, long range, and they are pretty good at close range, you know, with hip fire, or even just iron sighting up. But yeah, M1 Grand, S tier, I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. Now we have the Grease Gun, and I think this might surprise people, but I'm putting this as a D tier weapon for me. That's because the sights are terrible, you know, what is the sight? It's, I, you know, I, I cannot use this sight, I hate it. I hate this sight, and the recoil for me is quite deceiving. It seems like it's gonna, you know, bounce up a lot like the other SMGs do, but I think because of the decreased rate of fire, it recovers that bounce slightly, or, or it feels like it, so for me, I tend to overcompensate the recoil when using this gun. So because of the, you know, the bouncy sort of recoil and the horrible sights, I'm giving this a D tier because I think it's a lot worse than the Thompson. Now the MP40 is pretty much a copy of the Thompson really. A lot of people say that the recoil on the MP40 is less than the Thompson, but I think they're pretty much the same. Um, I think the sights on the MP40 are just a bit better than the Thompson as well. So don't consider how I've laid these out as an actual ranking for each tier but I would put the MP40 just a little bit ahead of the Thompson and then lastly the STG 44 and that is an A tier maybe even an S tier because it's better than the BAR I think the BAR sights are better than the STG because in update 9 they did slim the sights down a bit which just improved them so much but with the STG, it does have good sights, it's got controllable recoil, and it's got the 30 round magazine. And because of that, it's a devastating weapon. So it just misses out on the S tier. They did actually buff the BAR and the STG, I think, in Update 9. Their one hit kill range used to be, I think it was 50 or 75 meters, but then they buffed it to 100 meters. I don't think that was needed. I think they should actually drop that back down to 75 meters. Because in situations like I discussed with the BAR with the potential to wipe out squads, I think it's too strong. Maybe just lower it a little bit. And then lastly, where do I think the announced Russian weapons will be? So what we've got is the Mosin Sniper, which I think that is going to be an A tier because I think the scope magnification is not going to be as powerful as the Car 98. I think it's going to be pretty similar to the American Sniper. So yeah, A tier for that. The normal Mosin, I think it's going to be a D tier really. You know, it's just a bolt action rifle. It may be a very iconic weapon, but it's going to have the same weaknesses as the Car 98. The SVT, S tier, semi-automatic rifle, it's going to have the same positives and negatives as the M1 Grand and the G43 so yeah easy S tier for me the small PP I think the small PP is going to be a B class but the big PP the one with the drum magazine I'm pushing for an A class for that I think that drum magazine when they initially announced those weapons they said the PP with the drum magazine want to have lower recoil because of the increased weight from the drum magazine. From a handling perspective, that makes sense to me. But from a gameplay perspective, you're basically giving someone a lot more ammo and less recoil. Putting those two together, it's going to make that weapon so much stronger. 
I don't think that should happen. I think they should maybe just increase the recoil a tiny bit or, or change something differently about the handling. Maybe increase the ADS time as well. I'm, you know, I'm not sure there. I haven't played any of the PTEs, so I can't comment on how those weapons are going to handle. But I'm predicting an A tier for that because you get in close range with the big PP. You're going to be able to potentially wipe out so many people. If it's going to be two shots at close range or even three shots with that weapon which fires really fast, it's going to be mental. Then we have the machine gun, the DP-28. I think it's going to be... It's either going to be a low B or a high C tier. Because it's a machine gun, you're going to have to bipod it. It's going to be a bit uncontrollable when you brace it. But when you bipod it, it's going to be good. But it's the magazine count for me. Although I did say the MG34 would be a B tier as well. So yeah, this, yeah B tier for DP28. I haven't discussed any of the sidearms in this video. Because they were all a bit rubbish, really. But I'm going to put a special mention here for the... Nagant revolver. They are making it stronger than the other pistols. The pistols in the game I think are two shot kill at close range. So if the Nagant revolver is a one shot kill at close range, that's an S plus tier for me. <laughs> and I hope it's gonna be like that because I've got a plan to make like a cowboy themed video in Hell That Loose just running around with a revolver like shooting people. But yeah, Nagant revolver, I hope it's gonna be a one shot at close range. The last weapon I think has been announced, which I think will be the best weapon in the game, maybe even have to create an S plus tier for this list I've done, is the scoped SVT. If the SVT is one shot kill at 200 meters, giving it a scope, no matter what scope it is, yeah, we're going to assume it's a 3 or a 4x scope, you're going to be able to dominate everyone absolutely everyone i am so looking forward to using that weapon i hope it's a recon only weapon if it's an unlockable loadout for another class then the soviets are going to be nearly broken i think people are going to cheese the xp to get as much as they can for whatever role can use that weapon and then you're going to get like four or five of these scoped svts in every game and yeah i think that could be too much I think there'll be a lot of cheating accusations being thrown around because of that. Because people won't be used to having their entire squad just taken out like bang, 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 bang from someone hiding away with a scoped rifle like that. But we'll wait and see to see, yeah, we'll wait and see. When I get my hands on that weapon, yeah, I'm going to get some experience with it and make a video to let you know my thoughts on it. But, you know, as of right now, it's... It, you know, it'd be an S plus tier for sure and that's all for this video guys I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a like subscribe for more and thank you for watching